fair warning, it is windy AF outside and you may hear some of the trees and stuff bouncing off the side of my house in this video, so don't be surprised. Today I'm going to be walking through an updated version of my wallet setup. Now I will link up above my previous wallet setup in this my personal sized Filofax Malden ochre question mark? Yes, I think it's ochre. I haven't changed out of this planner since I started using it for this purpose because it looks so professional and kind of fancy, sort of civilized business person. I may switch out of it. I have other personal size planners and I found that this size works great for a wallet. But right now, using this puppy with it being all like aged looking and it's soft and a little floppy and okay, now it sounds like I'm saying mean things about a penis, but it is an excellent personal size situation for a wallet if you need more than just the standard wallet. I've been using it for eight or nine months now, I think, and but I've changed the setup of it a couple of times when I have a kit or something that makes me feel the urge to mix it up, and that's what I'm doing right now. This month, I, I redid it with the most current, so the March Planner Society kit, question mark, because it was gorgeous, and I was like, this would look beautiful in this planner, make sure none of my personals are showing. And you know what? It does. The colors complement this planner gorgeously. So it gave me the inspiration to do this. So here we go. As usual, I keep all of my, you know, important cards, credit cards, all the things, don't see all my money in here. And then normally what you don't see is my checkbook slips right here and then flaps over so that I can write my checks. That's because that's, I like doing that. So that's here. That's nothing fancy or pretty, just coins, co coins, coins, cards, and checks go right here. And then we have here. And I love that this month she sent the patterned vellum. I don't know if you can see that. Let me, the pattern on that vellum, it's like a marble, a rose gold marble. It's really beautiful. So this pattern vellum, I cut a piece of it to be kind of a, a dashboard and I don't use this dashboard to stick post. I mean, I might and fair warning, this dust post-it note's been on my desk for three days now, not gonna lie. And then I, but normally I just use it as like a beautiful kind of like cover page to my little wallet planner. And this card has rose gold foiling, says big things often have small beginnings. Oh, isn't that so inspirational? That is held on with some of the washi tape from this month and is my little cover dashboard, all right? Then we have my little folder. Now I have a tutorial for how to make a little pocket folder for your wallet situation like this. But what I did this month because I was lazy was Christy from the Planner Society gate hooked me up with these, these um, they're like plastic pockets that came in the Target dollar spot with a, like adhesive sticky side. Genius. So I stuck those on one on this side for dollar bills, dollar dollar bills y'all, and one on this side for receipts, not as exciting. And that became my little pocket folder rather than creating a pocket, which actually I love the look of. I was, like I said, lazy this time. Um, I did notice when I did this and I cut this piece that was the right size for personal, that when I punched it, it punched through the plastic. So it took a little bit more like to get it there. So just a heads up if you try doing that. Then we started going through my dividers and as per usual, I made dividers out of the paper that comes in the kits and I was pleasantly surprised to see that some of the papers in this month's kit had the foiling on them and I was just like holy shit so yeah you can see the shiny shiny from the lights on here so then I used the tabs that come with the kit these are all the things that you know all the things so I added a new tab this month I called it schedule using the you know the tabs that come with what I got were the fold out calendar inserts for personal ring size planners that's a mouthful from Annie Plans Printables on Etsy now I've Principals and I are not friends, but I really like Annie's inserts. I use them for my lettering every day challenge. Said in previous wallets when I had like a whole weeky, weekly, weeky, weekly schedule in here that that didn't work for me, that it, I didn't like transferring back and forth. But what I did find myself doing was not bringing my big main Aaron Condren planner everywhere because this thing's heavy and I have back problems and I'm not supposed to load my bag up with hella shit every day. So when I go to meetings at church or whatnot, I need to have days that stuff's going on in my planner so that I don't make an appointment or schedule a meeting when I already have something else going on. So these are little fold out monthly calendars and I just punched them and then folded them. And I'm just writing, I'm not making it fancy. 
just different like things that are going on. Like these are the same. It's basically transferring my monthly planner from my, my main planner into here, which are all of the things that are like time specific, whether it's plane flights or appointments or whatnot. So that I know that when I make an appointment, I'm not scheduling to run something that is already locked in. So that's why I did this. And I have everything for the rest of the year in here. And you can see that the deeper I go in, the less I have scheduled because I haven't figured that shit out yet. But you know, now when I'm going out, I don't have to bring my big chunky planner. This at least makes sure that the most important dates don't get scheduled on. That was a lot of words for a simple concept. Then most of this is the same, but I'll walk through it if you haven't watched the video. Another divider, this is to do and cover up my to do's. This just has, these are sweet kawaii designs inserts and they have little to-do lists. And I don't use these every day, but this is for when like I'm going out and about and I need to remember what errands I'm going to run. Like I need to go to the pharmacy and I need to go to the post office and I need to go pay the water bill and you know, whatever. I can mark these in here and check them off as I use them. I don't follow a specific date range in here. If I do a Monday from this week and then next week I do Tuesday, I just, I don't write week of, fuck that. I don't want to waste the paper. This is glorious paper and I want to use every bit of it. So that's how I use these. And then we have notes and oh my God, so much, especially with all the important things I'm not supposed to show. So these are my notes, self-explanatory. I scribble all the things from all my meetings in here so that I have it. Like I said, this goes with me to my meetings. Very rarely does my other planner go with me to my meetings because I just don't want to carry it around. And then we have daily and this is habit trackers and I'm trying to get better about using these. I think I'm going to use this for cleaning, like following like a cleaning routine and having every day we do this, that, and this. And, but may I haven't quite incorporated that in, but these are for monthly, like daily habits with a month. What from sweet, quiet design, same where the note pages. Haven't quite gotten there yet, but I'm leaving it in here because motherfucker, I'm gonna get it someday. And to buy, this is like my grocery shopping. Now I don't, again, you can look at these these shopping lists. I don't follow, I don't I do not do what it tells me. I just write a big mess because that's, that's what I do. So now you know. Now you know the secret. This is the man behind the curtain right here. Also Sweet Kawaii Designs, by the way. I think every other insert in here is Sweet Kawaii Designs. And then my check register, and then this little personal tab says it's my blood pressure tracker, which I am not as good at doing as I should be. But for those of you who don't know, I have kidney disease and I'm medicated for blood pressure. So I have to keep an eye on it and I'm not great at that, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> and then in the back, I shoved in the, shoved in the matching pla plag flag, plag flag, plag, page flags for this month so that I have little post-its available for aforementioned meetings. And then this is the pen that goes with the kit. It's got this foil and water in here and it's really kind of mesmerizing. I think it's pretty. So that's in here. Talked really fast. This is my wallet. As you can see, I really like the colors. And the next time I change this, maybe I'll decide to go to a different personal sized planner. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm sticking with this Filofax because it is soft and fabulous and I love it. Are you using a planner for your wallet? I sound like, isn't there a credit card? Like, what do you have in your wallet or whatever, but whatever. Are you using a planner for your wallet? Do you want to use something like this? Do you carry all the planners around like this? Do you just carry the piles, the piles and the piles of shit? everywhere in your purse and have back problems like me because that's what I was doing. And now unless it's a special occasion, I don't. And this is all that goes with me anywhere. Do you do that? Or do you have something like this? And if you do, let me know what you use because I am continually reevaluating the inserts I keep in here to make sure that what I'm carrying around is what I'm actually using and not just window dressing. So let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.